In this video, we're gonna be working on the iPad Touch, third generation. It was mailed in for a bad charging port. Working on this iPad is not an easy job. It takes time because uh, number one, we have to disassemble the iPad just like I did here. And the disassembly takes some time. And second, we have to desolder and solder a new port onto this iPad. Let me show you how it looks like under the microscope. So this is the battery. We're gonna desolder it. Okay, battery is out. So now we can remove the battery like this and we only have the board to deal with along with the wires here. But that's okay because we're gonna put the board inside the board holder. Let's take a look at the port. The first thing I always mention is we have to verify the problem. Otherwise we may be wasting time changing the port and the problem may not be the port. And look at this here. We have missing pins. I see a lot of missing pins. And some green residue on there. Okay, the first thing I want to do is apply low melt solder onto the pins here so we can lower the melting temperature. Before we do so, we have to apply flux. Because soldering without flux does not work. And this is the Amtec 559 flux that everybody keep asking about. You can buy it off our website at northridgefix.com. And today we received a new batch of the Amtec flux. So we have the freshest batch in stock. We always have fresh flux because they sell fast. We have an FTC connector right here. And we do not want to knock off the neighboring components. I mean, we are working in a very tight area here. and a lot of pins. Look at this, pins are already moving. Now we need to soak the back legs with normal solder. With that low melt solder, it will take a lot of heat to remove that connector. A lot of heat is never good. Let's take a look at the back. I'm holding the board with my hand, like this. Not the board holder, but like this. It's hard to put this board in a board holder because of the way the wires are connected to the board. So I'm just holding it like this and I'm gonna be applying low melt like this. So my hand may not be very steady when holding the board. And just like that, low melt solder is magic. It would have taken a lot of heat to remove that port if it wasn't for low melt solder. And we always have to be careful not to knock off any neighboring components because it's very easy to do so. And we need flux.
and let's put a new connector. Just like that. Very nice. We're gonna apply some plugs and then we're gonna start soldering the front pins. So now that the connector is secured in place, we're going to solder the back and we'll come back to finish soldering the front pins. Okay, so the job is done from the back. Let's finish soldering the front pins. Okay, very good. We did not touch the neighboring components. We did not damage the FEC connector. We did not knock off any components. We did everything while being super careful. The reason customer is fixing this iPod is because he needs the information inside and not because he wants the iPod fixed. Hi, hi, how are you? Okay, and the job is done. And a new piece of captain tape, like it was before, and that's it. Let's go ahead and test. And like always, we're gonna use our power bank. And is the iPod charging? 0 0.11, and we see a battery sign right there. I don't know if you can see it. Where's the power button? Okay. iPod is charging at 0 0.1. That's very low. 0 0.1 is very low, but we don't know the condition of the battery. iPod 3, that's a very old battery. I mean, we are talking years. When did the iPod 3 come out? I wish you can see it. Let me go under the microscope. Right there, the battery. And it went off. So iPod is working. All we have to do is wait for the battery to charge. We're going to leave it overnight. If in the morning we see that the battery did not charge, we're going to order another battery and we'll try it. If that doesn't work, then the iPod may have other issues. But uh, as of now, the charging port is soldered on properly. Everything is good. And it's able to recognize that we have a cable plugged in. So that's a good thing. That's it for this video. Time to go home. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.